In this video, let's continue to solve problems based on arithmetic progressions. And uh, the problem here is says if the eighth term of an arithmetic progression is 31 and the 15th term is 16 more than the 11th term, find the AP. Well, so what we've got one thing is we've got the eighth term for sure. And then it says that the 15th term of this AP, that is A15, is 16 more than the 11th term, right? So now we need to find the AP with this data. So let's see what we have to do. So it clearly says A8 equals 31, no doubt about that. And it also very clearly says the 15th term, A15, is 16 more than the 11th term, that is 16 plus A11, right? So this is the data that we've got. So now it says A8 equals 31. We can write A8 as the first term plus 7 times the difference, that is the common difference between the terms of this AP. So A plus 7D should give us 31. And A15 can be written as A plus 14D equals uh, 16 plus A11 can be written as A plus 10D, right? So we've got these now. So now on solving this here, we get, now let this be A plus 7D equals 31. And what happens here is uh, A and A gets cancelled. And we've got 14D minus 10D. Take 10D to the left hand side, it becomes 14D minus 10D, which is 4D equals 16. So from this, we can find D. So now here, we can find D. D equals 16 divided by 4, which is uh, 4 goes 4 times in 16. So we've got D as 4. So once we've got D, I think we should be easily able to find out what is the AP. Because we've got this equation, we can easily find A from that. So now we've got A plus 7D equals 31. And we know that D equals 4. So A plus 7 times 4 is 28. 28 equals 31. So A equals 31 minus 28. And A equals 3. So we found A and D. We can, you know, just write the AP. So the AP will be, now A is 3. The first term is 3. And the difference is 4, right? So 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 plus 4 is 11. 11 plus 4 is 15. 15, uh, 15 plus 4 is 19. 19 plus 4 is 23. And so on. So this is the AP that we found. So we can do this from the given data. You know, the 8th term of an AP was given and then the 15th term is uh, 16 more than 11th term. So by using the data, we can definitely find the AP in this way. So this ends this problem. We will quickly solve another problem before uh, we end this video. So here we've got another problem which reads like this. Which term of the arithmetic progression 5, 15, 25 and so on will be 130 more than its 31st term? Well, what it says is, now just keep going on, you get the 31st term, okay? Now, there is some other term which is 130 more than the 31st term. So they're asking which term is it? So yeah, now what we've got from this is we've got A equals 5. And D, we've got 15 minus 5 is 10. 25 minus 15 is also 10. So D equals 10. So now we are talking about the 31st term, right? So we've got the 31st term as A31 equals A plus 30 times the difference, right? So this is nothing but, this is equal to what? Mm, this is equal to 5 plus 30 times 10. This is equal to 305. So the 31st term is 305. So, there is some other term which is uh, 130 more than the 31st term. So, let's say that term is n. So, a n is 130 times more than, sorry, uh, 130 more than a31. So, we've got 130 plus a31 is given as 305. That will be founded out. So, that a n equals 100 plus 300 is 400, 435. So, what we have to do is we just have to find out which term is the 435. 435 is which term of the given AP? So that's pretty simple. So all you have to do is uh, the general term is a n equals a plus n minus 1 into d. So the unknown here is n, right? Because we know that a n is 435. We know that a is 5. So n is what we have to find. So d is uh, 10. So we've got 435 equals 5 plus 10 n minus 10. 
और 435 equals 10n minus 5 और 10n equals 435 plus 5 so 10n equals 440 or n equals 440 divided by 10 which is 44 so therefore this 435 which is 130 more than the 31st term is the 44th term of the given AP so that's all pretty simple uh, finally the sum came down to you know uh, finding which term was the was that number that was 130 more than 31st term so it's so simple once you have a and d you can just do anything but i think we've even done without a and d as we've done in the previous problem and the right data is given so it's all about analyzing the data and then trying out you know the first thing that has to come to the mind is you know somehow find a or d or something that's going to take us to the final answer so this ends this problem as well as this video i will see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on arithmetic progression